All right, YouTube. Been working on this, my race car hauler, old first gen Cummins. I was doing a little old test run, I had to do a diesel leak on my. Anyway, I got that, got it temporarily fixed there. Anyway. Y'all watched my previous video. I had, I uh, found out I had trash in the, uh, in the fuel tank. And, um, cleaned that all out. And I put a, uh, I put a, I bought me an air dog. I got that on here now, trying that out. Things seems to run a lot better now. <laughs> Blowing the tires off. That's fourth gear right here. up with spin in black marks gotta get the bed on it I got a new Valera clutch coming. The um, I think my input shaft and pilot bearing bushing is locked up, is locking up. I'm having trouble with this thing shifting. I got I got a new slave cylinder and master clutch master cylinder coming. Let's see what this thing will do. the clutch up. <laughs> Good God. I just smoked my clutch. Yeah, she's smoking a damn clutch. Damn it. If the clutch come in today, I'll be putting that on this evening. Ooh, I smell that clutch. I gotta fix my fuel gauge too. Hey, did my clutch come in? Have you seen my new clutch? <laughs> hey, I just, I just smoked this one. <laughs> yeah, I... I put that rod up there to hold that up. Anyway, there's my air dog. I'll be here next week. See how I got it mounted. I took it instead of sandwiching it in between the frame well, I just took that inner plate and welded it to the frame. Well, I got some short bolts and tack welded them to, to that back that plate there. That way, uh, I can take this thing off on the side of the highway if I have to with no backup wrenches or whatever. Uh, 
when I get the bed on, I'll be able to reach up under the bed like so and, and drain the water out. That thing separates the air. Check this out. I got that wide open. All that air. Close it off, see there? It wasn't nothing, sucking nothing but pure air right there and fuel. Bean sump on there. It's not leaking. Ooh, I smell that clutch. There's my old homemade exhaust. Got me some airbags on it. Over. There's where my new fuel line runs. I just blocked that off and uh, took the took the plunger out of that lift pump. I got it in the glove box in case I can break down on the side of the road. I take this pump off and um, swap it swap it all back to my my stock fuel system. I got a plug on there with electric tape around that. Screw it all back together. Put old fresh wash and give this thing a good cleaning and I'll talk to y'all later.